Research has shown that increased muscle strength is correlated to overall health and longevity. But have you ever worried about starting an exercise program because you are afraid of injuring yourself from improper exercise form? Computers can now identify human joints as key points to track our body's movements. In this project, we will show you how to train a machine learning model to recognize whether or not an exercise has been performed correctly. As always, you can find written instructions for this project linked in the description below. To get started, you want to scroll down this page under setting up the Google Colab environment and download the exercise form IPYNB file. Then you want to go to your Google Drive, go to my drive, and then create a folder called exercise form and upload the IPYNB notebook to this folder. Then to open the notebook, all you need to do is double click on the file. If you've never used Google Colab before, Google Colab is a platform where you can write, run, and share code. To run a code block, you can click on this play button here or click on the code block and hold control enter on your keyboard or command enter if you're on a MacBook. To create a code block, you can click on this button over here and to delete it, you can click on this trash icon over here. Now let's get started. The first thing you'll do is run this code block here, which will install Ultralytics and OpenCV. The Ultralytics library includes the YOLO model or you only look once model that we'll be using to detect the joints. And the Python OpenCV library will allow us to process images and videos. The output is quite long, so you can collapse this by clicking on this icon over here and clicking on show slash hide output. Then you want to import various libraries so that we can use the functions in our notebook. Then you want to mount the Google Drive so that we can use the folder that we created earlier. This final code block will create the subfolders for us. And if you go back to the Google Drive, you can see that there are now four new folders. And if you look inside some of these folders, you can see that there are two more folders called good form and bad form. And that'll be the same if you look into the key points folder and also the label videos folder. The only exception is the test videos, which doesn't have any subfolders within it. Now we are ready to take our videos. Pick any exercise for your model to classify. Some exercises you can consider are pull-ups, push-ups, squats, lunges, and so on. In this video, I'll show you how to create a machine learning model that can identify good squats. Just make sure that you or whoever is demonstrating can consistently perform the chosen exercise with proper form. Record at least 100 short videos of the chosen exercise with good form. Each video should feature one person completing a single repetition and should be consistent in length. Make sure the video focuses solely on the exercise and avoid including actions like walking to and from the camera. Having a second person record the exercise can make this process easier, but if you are filming by yourself, make sure to trim out these parts. Make sure that each video is at least a little bit different from each other. You can do this by changing the camera angle between different videos, rotating yourself or the person performing the exercise, varying the zoom level, and in the case of squats, changing the arm position, since the arm position does not really matter for doing squats. When you are done recording at least 100 videos of the given exercise in good form that you have chosen, go back to your Google Drive and go into your exercise videos folder and then good form, and then upload all of your videos. Now we'll record more videos of the exercise of your choosing, but this time in bad form. Here, you want to be careful to not injure yourself. If you are feeling any pain, stop the exercise immediately and take a break. While there are many ways to perform an exercise incorrectly, it is important to stay consistent and collect multiple videos of the same type of poor form. If you want your model to detect additional types of poor form, you will need to collect separate sets of videos for each. Aim to gather at least 50 videos for every variation of poor form you plan to include. Once you have recorded the poor form videos, upload them to the bad form folder inside the exercise videos folder. For your test data, record at least two additional videos of the same person performing the exercise, one with good form and one with bad form. Upload these videos to the test videos folder to keep things organized, it is a good idea to rename these files to something like goodformtest.mp4 and badformtest.mp4 so you can easily tell them apart. Now we are finally ready to move back to our Google Colab notebook. It is likely that your runtime is disconnected at this point, so remember to run all of the blocks under importing libraries again. And you can run them all at once by collapsing the section and then clicking on display button. 
Now, we'll be saving the position of key points in the videos that we just uploaded. And you can do that by running this code block. Don't worry if this takes a few minutes to run. Once you are done running this code block, you can go back to your Google Drive and see that two new folders have been updated. The first one is the exercise labeled videos folder. And if you go into one of these folders, you can view the videos that now have the key points labeled on them. Here's one example. And if we go back and go into the exercise key points folder and then pick one of these and then view one of the CSV files, you can see that this is the file that our machine learning model will be using to learn the good form versus bad form exercises. I won't be going too much into detail of these files, but we can see the frame here, which is how far along we are in the video and each key point ID corresponds to one of the joints. Now we are ready to train our model. To do so, we'll go down to the training the model section and this first code block will reformat our CSV files in a way that's easy for the machine learning model to read. This next code block will split our data into train and test. It will also fit the model and test it and print out its classification report. You can learn more about these metrics on the project page but for now, we can see that our accuracy is 97%. This last code block will save our model so that we don't have to train a new one every time we want to use it. Now you are ready to test your model. In this code block, you want to put the name of your video here. So I'll go back to the exercise form test videos folder and make sure that I type in the exact name. I'll first test the good form test.mp4 file. I'll go back to my notebook and then type that exact name in good form test and then run this code block. We can see the results by running the next code block here and we can see that our model thinks that was great form. We could do the same thing again by going back here and then changing the file name to bad form test which was the name of my other file and then run next code block again and we can see that the model thinks the form could use some work. And with that, we are done with this coding tutorial. There are many different variations you can do for this project. For instance, you can train it on different people so that anyone would be able to use it and not just one person. You can train it to recognize good and bad form for multiple different exercises like push-ups, sit-ups, and so on. Or you can teach your model to rank how well an exercise was performed between one and five. Remember that you can find written instructions as well as this notebook linked in the description below. And for a thousand other projects for all areas of science and engineering, visit our website www.sciencebuddies.org.